Welcome to Blackout. In today's video, as you can see in the title, I will be doing my very first mod in this channel, actually. I've already done just one mod, like performance mod, and that's the Muffer Delete. But I don't know if you can see, but right here, I just got a new package. Let me go ahead and show y'all. All right, you guys, so I've been thinking, I really want to mod my car. I was kind of thinking between two things, well, mainly three, um, but I kind of just uh, pushed the other one to the side, which is coilovers. I've been thinking about doing coilovers, but I feel like right now is not the moment yet. <laughs> I'm really fiending for them catless headers, but it is kind of a process and I have to order a few things for it. Um, I'm thinking that after this mod, I'm definitely considering uh, purchasing it. But this mod I was thinking about was getting a cold air intake. I'm trying to get uh, uh, budget friendly parts for my car. You can still build a good car, you know, without wasting so much money. So then I came across this on eBay. So as y'all can see on eBay, I found my cold air intake with my mass airflow sensor for 40 bucks. And I didn't get it for 40 bucks. I got it for $35. I found this one. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get it. So I got it right here. As y'all can see from the beginning of the video. And I got it from DNA motoring dna motoring i don't know i've never really heard of that but let's go ahead and unbox it got my brother's knife let's see what it looks like see that oh looks so sick all right hold on let me pull all the parts out all right so the first thing you can see is the main pipe for the short ram cold air intake and as you can see it is for my mass airflow sensor uh it came with the clamps and the thing that you put on when you uh, put it on the throttle body. And I also got the hoses. And the last thing is the uh, actual intake uh, filter. Now I was wondering for a while now how the colder intake filter will look like. And I'm really, really just curious to see if it's pretty good quality considering it's 40 bucks for the whole thing. So. Let's go ahead and check it out. So it came in a separate box. I don't know if y'all can see that. Ooh. This thing is huge. Look at that. Let me take out the bag. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. This is really good quality. For 40 bucks, you're getting some good quality parts. Now, I'm really tempted to put it on, so let's go ahead and do it. As you can see, we got this huge, huge intake system right here. I'm gonna keep this on because it allows air to go into the cold air intake, which is gonna be around this area. Not only is it gonna be a weight reduction, it's gonna be performance, and it's gonna lead cold air into my car. So I'm really excited. Give it a few revs so y'all can hear what it sounds like. All right, y'all, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be removing the old cold air intake I mean, not cold air intake, bro. What the hell? Boy, if you don't get your squiggly dig I'm going to be removing the old uh, intake. So let's go ahead and do that. It might be a bit hard because I lost my 10 mil, but I'm going to use what I got. All right. So first, what you got to do is remove this bolt right here, uh, this bolt right here. And then let's see. Does it have any other ones? This one right here. And also, you're going to want to remove this and this right here. This should be pretty easy to remove. You're also going to want to remove the hoses that are connected to it, which shouldn't be that hard, but... All you pretty much need is a 10 mil Phillips and just a, a little, you know, thing to remove the hoses. But you should be able to do it manually uh, like this, as you can see. Looks like I'm going to have to use this for today. So the one in here is kind of hard to get, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this to make it a lot easier. Hopefully it will loosen it up a little bit. So let me take it off. But yeah, it's a lot looser. Let's go ahead and remove this right here. Look at all that empty space. We can fit a turbo in here now. I had to take that switch off because it was kind of hard to take out, but it should be way easier now. Get a towel too and just wipe it off so your engine bay can look much cleaner. As y'all can see, it looks super clean. Go ahead and clamp this on.
and with the new hose you're gonna have to stretch it a little bit as you can see right here uh i'm thinking about cutting it so it can be shorter i can see this is the new one and this is the original one a lot longer so i'm gonna cut it to the original one so i'm almost done the only thing is i kept this hose right here because the other one was a bit larger i didn't want to uh have any leaks you know you got to avoid that and make sure this part is facing this way one eternity later you guys so everything should be connected everything looks good so let's go ahead and start it uh let me show you all how it looks right now since it's not really a lot of space the only thing i'm just gonna put this right here so air can pass by looks super clean now the only thing i re really recommend is for y'all to put like some type of zip tie right here so this thing won't move too much guys right, so let's go ahead and turn it on and hear what it sounds like it sounds the same but you can only really tell when you rev it you can hear the uh intake filter sucking in all the cold air this thing sounds sick y'all like 35 bucks for a cold air intake and this much performance is is like crazy let me go ahead and do another poll for you guys so y'all can hear it that's crazy so it is actually the next day and i went to autozone and picked up this one right here it's a coupler kit it's for it's the silicone to the uh intake and i also went ahead and got these little hose clamps the ones that you can adjust with the screwdriver and i paid 18 bucks for it hopefully this is a really good quality and right now i'm about to check to see if it fits uh the one that comes with the pipe go ahead and deal with the vacuum leak that i've been having i'm thinking about taking this out and you know re uh securing it because i feel like it's maybe leaking right here um doesn't feel that secure and the gasket might be put on wrong and also right here as you can see it's not really secured that good first what i'm gonna do is just take uh these out and see what i can do i was able to take it off now i'm just gonna make sure that it's securely put on and see how i'm gonna clamp it right here let me show you because you got to clamp it right over here all right you guys so i was measuring the new part that i got to the old one and the problem is that this part is just too big should be good so let's go ahead and unpackage this that's what the silicone piece looks like it looks like it is very high quality so i'm pretty happy with that let me go ahead and fit it to this good investment make sure you guys get a good piece of silicone that fits this one was a three inch to three or 2.5 which is two and a half Got the perfect fit you guys i just loosened it and it looks like it's gonna fit literally perfect all right so it looks like it's not gonna move there um now the only thing is i'm gonna see how i'm gonna mount it i feel like the reason why they gave me this is because they want me to mount it like right here and then like this maybe maybe like that so we'll try it so i didn't film it because my dad actually came in to help me out which i'm really grateful for because he helped me mount it good so let me show you sorry about the wind you guys it's really windy i got this specter silicone hose holder for the throttle body to the pipe and i also mounted it right here with these two parts now this one right here didn't come with the uh kit but you could fold it uh like it is right here to a uh, 90 degree angle uh the only thing that's really left is for that hose right there to be connected right here so i'll have to get like a t-shaped hose connector but yeah the only thing that's left is the heat wrap that reflects the hot air so it can maintain its cold air all right y'all so it's another day it finally came in the gold heat wrap the final part to the intake we're gonna go ahead and install it This is what it looks like, you guys. It, it shines in the light. I got a piece right here. And I'm gonna heat it up and see what happens. And it just cools down super quickly, so. And as you can see, it's still holding up even with a torch. 
this is all I need to wrap the cold air intake. So let's go ahead and wrap it. It's gonna look sick. It's also gonna go a little bit with this gold painted uh, valve cover. So let's go ahead and take off this. All right, as y'all can see, this is all you need. So first you need the pipe that you're gonna be putting the tape on, the tape, scissors, uh, towel, and just something to clean it with because you wanna clean it first. All right, y'all, so this is what it's looking like right now. I'm not even halfway through. I'm using this X-Acto knife to um, cut around the welds and it's looking pretty good. I went ahead and wrapped it. As you can see, it looks really good. Make sure y'all clamp it good because as you can see, this right here is supposed to be lined up with the top. So it has to be a little bit more to the left. It's all right. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that real quick and then put on the filter. All right, so as y'all can see, everything's connected good. All the hoses are on, the clamp is nice and tight. Everything's nice and tight, you guys. Look at how nice that looks. I feel like the only thing that's missing is just like something that leads to the air over there. But other than that, it looks really nice. Next thing I wanna do is catless headers, which would obviously change so much um, how the car performs. I can't wait to show this off at the car meets, especially after putting those on. I won't have to use this anymore, but yeah. So much torque, the chassis twisted coming off the line. Kept down the track. The Lexus still here. They didn't tow it. Louis finna drive the Lexus today. He's gonna crash out. He's not gonna crash out, bro. Crash out. You owe me ten bands if you crash out. And I'm finna tell your dad. <laughs> Am I making you nervous? Right? Hey, run that kid over. No, it's kidding. Two hundred. It's low key. It's tricks my vision. For real? You just gotta get used to it. How does it feel driving the Lexus? Low key, it feels better than driving a truck. For real? Well, it's, a, it's like a sports car, though. Yeah, it's I'd rather have that car right there, a little smart car. Oh, there goes my man pulling up. Where the fuck he going? Oh, hell no. He's showing off. <laughs> this little microwave. Give it a little rip, give it a little rip. All right, chat. Let's look at the engine bay. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> that bit's off for what? Look at this tall. Hold on. It is? Oh, this tall. Damn. Dude, the whole setup is like not even 50 bucks. You give it a little red right there. Hard, hard. <laughs> bro okay bro all right y'all so that's gonna be it for the youtube video hope y'all enjoyed make sure y'all show some love so that i can make some more videos and hopefully get some more mods if y'all really show a lot of love i'll do it i uh, think about getting the headers like i said if not some coilovers but yeah y'all also got another video that's coming on some stuff i ordered for my interior but i just gotta stay tuned and just follow up with the content but yeah y'all see y'all later god bless y'all